From Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 9 starts now. A 70 year old man behind bars tonight after officers say he was living at a home in North Little Rock while being registered as a homeless sex offender. Good evening. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Jimmy Weeks is facing charges of failure to appear and registered offender living near a school. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy live in North Little Rock to explain how this man started living in a completely different city and county without anyone knowing. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Donna. This is Boone Park Elementary School. We're about one or two minutes away from where Jimmy Weeks, a convicted level three sex offender, was allegedly living. Tonight, deputies a county over where Weeks was registered tell me tracking homeless sex offenders are, is difficult to do. <laughs> Hanging out with his nieces. Let me hold it. Is one way Justin Hayes beats the heat. And they should have the most protection. Just a few doors down on West 16th Street, North Little Rock Police say 70 year old Jimmy Weeks, a convicted level three sex offender, was living at this home for more than a week. Justin says Weeks has been at the home longer than that, but had no clue of Weeks' past. Once you brought the information to me, um, it was very astonishing. He's been recently had been registered as homeless. It puts a whole lot of strain on law enforcement. Lenoke County Lieutenant Matthew Edwards says Weeks has lived in Lenoke County since 2004. It's not a per se that he's constantly homeless. It's that, hey, I don't have a place to live right now. This is where we're going to be living. State law orders homeless sex offenders to report their location every 30 days. Lenoke County deputies require them to report once a week. Lieutenant Edwards says tracking homeless sex offenders can be difficult, but they do the best they can. We have to um, take their word that that's where they're living and then check on them periodically. No, we just want kids to be kids. While Uncle Justin serves as a watchdog, he's thinking about ways to keep better tabs on homeless offenders. A discussion needs to be talked about on, on ways to prevent incidents from like this happening. The state classifies a convicted level three sex offender as someone with a history of repeat offenses and or a strong antisocial violent predatory personality. We are live in North Little Rock. Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 investigates. Mitch, obviously there is a, a much bigger picture as it pertains to homeless registered sex offenders, but l let's focus on Jimmy Weeks. You, you mentioned that he was living in a house in North Little Rock. How were authorities able to track him down? with him being homeless and registered as a homeless sex offender. Right, we were able to get a lot of information from the arrest report that we received through the Pulaski County Jail. We haven't received much more information from North Little Rock Police yet. They tell us they're going to release more information about how they were able to track him down tomorrow. We were told by some of the neighbors in that neighborhood that they saw a lot of police cars outside that house earlier today. We are told by ACIC, that is the Arkansas Crime Information Center, that tracking homeless sex offenders is not just a central Arkansas problem. It is a problem across the state and something that continues to evolve. Yeah, that's the bigger picture. All right, Mitch, appreciate the report. Thanks.